Money TV. Hey there. Thank you for watching Clean Money Lifestyle. This is Christine. Karibu sana. If you're new here, what we always do, we like just coming by and talking about health and nutrition and sharing some tips that will make us all live healthier. Karibu sana. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. So today, we're just going to talk about exercise. Why should you exercise? I know this is a very interesting question because a lot of the time and in our current space we see a lot of maybe fad diets and advertisements and a lot of people are telling us that it is not necessary but the truth is exercise is extremely necessary not just for losing weight but for your overall general health remember what we said about the world health organization definition of health it is where you physically mentally and socially healthy then we say you are healthy and exercise helps us with all these things so first things first exercise helps your muscles become more receptive to insulin if you've heard this word before you'd know that it has something to do with blood sugar all right so insulin in essence is the hormone that now transports the sugars that are floating around in your body from whatever you had for lunch or dinner or as a snack into your muscles all right so that's basically what happens when you exercise, your muscles become more efficient in utilizing this insulin. In, when you exercise, your muscles become more efficient in incorporating and utilizing ins, insulin as a hormone, meaning they're more receptive to the blood glucose that is coming in, all the blood sugar that is coming in, is able to get used up by your muscles. This is a great thing because number one, the sugar is not going to be converted to fat so you will not gain weight which is a goal for a lot of us number two it manages your blood sugar levels so if you're susceptible to type 2 diabetes or you have type 2 diabetes exercise is one of the good ways to efficiently manage your blood sugar when you exercise your mood is better have you needed to go out for a jog or a run because you're stressed or just a simple walk all you want to do is walk when you engage in physical activity there are hormones that are released in your in our bodies and those hormones make us feel good so our mood is improved we are less likely to be snappy also as a plus, you use up all the extra energy you'd have used to argue with your partner or your spouse or your child. Good use of energy. <laughs> I know a lot of us have all this pent up energy, especially now during quarantine and we've spent a lot of time at home. It's great if you find an outlet, find an exercise that you enjoy. Do you want to run? Do you like to jog do you want to dance do you want to just play with your children do some form of physical activity just to release all that nervous energy in our bodies so that we stop feeling that claustrophobia that we've been feeling remember in today's world a lot of us are spending a lot of time seated our jobs require a lot of sitting time we are on zoom we are, or working from home we do not need to commute or to go out then technology has made things a lot easier that now if i need to meet with you all i have to do is set up a conference meeting over the internet 
or make a phone call or send an email and that has somewhat taken away from the kind of physical activity we used to participate in it's a great idea to now do more exercise remember as exercise improves your mood it also improves your productivity you get more blood flowing in your body flowing to your brain you become more creative you become more focused in your work finally exercise is a great social activity when you participate in group sports you're able to meet like-minded people that you wouldn't have otherwise met you can get an exercise buddy or a running partner in if in case you're in a relationship your partner or your spouse can be your running buddy or your exercise partner and this goes a long way into building lifelong bonds so now why don't we exercise if exercise is so good for us we don't exercise because exercise is one of those things as, that is easy to avoid. You can't avoid eating. You cannot avoid breathing, but you can avoid exercise. So for a lot of us, we are, our schedules maybe do not allow for outside activities or outside exercises. So we say, you know, I was at work, I was tired, so I can avoid exercise or I don't have to work out today. Some of us will also say my work involves standing so I don't need exercise. True. But then please remember all the benefits that come with exercise. Aside from all that we've spoken about, it's important to make time at least 30 minutes to one hour of physical activity every single day intentionally activities that are not within your normal that also stretch other muscle groups for example if you do work that involves a lot of sitting you need to exercise your core your back muscles improve your posture and exercise will help you do this if you do a lot of uh, wrist work and computer work and typing Remember, just exercising your wrists makes you even more efficient at work. We need to make the time. How then do you do this? First of all, if you are driving, it is okay to park a little bit further. I know we have a tendency to get to the nearest parking spot, the nearest to the door park a bit further. If you're using public transport, make a little bit more time. Take a little bit more time earlier in the morning or later in the evening so that you can have a walk, maybe 15 minutes away from your usual bus stop. And if it's a walk, make sure it's a brisk walk. Sweat. Feel the burn. I know you've, we've had this before. Feel it. Feel a little bit sweaty. Feel your heart beating, you know, all this. It's just the, all the goodies of exercise coming together in your body. If you are in an office with an elevator, opt to use the stairs. If you need to tell someone something, walk up to their desk. So increase the amount of physical activity that you participate in gradually, all right? As you do this, and then as you also now drink more water and eat healthier, then you'd find yourself getting more and more healthy. Remember to have a wonderful day today. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe. In case you have any questions, we're down there at the comment section. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Have a fantastic day.